Hi, I'm Emma from Magpie Makes, and today I'm going to show you how to make this very cute avocado bookmark. So the things you're going to need to make the avocado bookmark are some bits of felt, some embroidery threads, a nice piece of elastic, and some scissors and a needle. So you're going to need to cut out of your dark green felt two oval shapes, like an avocado. One for the front and one for the back. Also cut out from some lighter green felt a smaller oval shape, which is the middle of the avocado, and a nice brown circle, which is our avocado pip. Then you're going to pin the brown circle onto the smaller light green oval, and then start a nice neat running stitch all the way around the edge of the brown felt, just like we've done before in the running stitch tutorial on the website. So the next stage, once we've sewn our pip on, is to do the cute little avocado face. And as you can see on here, I've just used a pencil which was quite sharp and drawn first the outline of the little eyes with two eyelashes and a little mouth. And then we're going to start sewing on the features using a backstitch, which is also demonstrated in one of the other tutorials. So we always come up from the back and make one little stitch and then come up a little bit in front of that stitch and go back into the end of the last stitch and then you get a nice neat line and just continue that all the way along until you've made your eye and then you can just do two little stitches on the outside for the eyelashes. So continue this with the other eye. You can leave the thread attached and just come up from the back and do the other eye and eyelashes. And when you finish that, you can also do the mouth in a different color if you'd like, as I've done with the demo. For the cheeks, I have cut out two small uh, felt circles in pink and you can just stitch those on with a running stitch. If you don't have any pink felt or don't want to do that, you can always just get just a little bit of a uh, felt tip and you can make a very, very light little mark on the felt and just smudge it slightly with your finger and you get quite a cute little blushed cheek effect. So either option is fine. The next stage is to sew the light green part with the face and my pip on onto the dark green part and as you can see I've pinned it with two pins just to stop it moving around and with this like with the pip we're just going to do a nice neat running stitch all the way around the edge. The thing I'm going to do is to get the elastic part ready and you're going to just put one end over the other and overlap it very slightly and take a needle and embroidery thread and just make a few stitches to make sure the ends stay attached. Just probably four or five little stitches just to make sure the two ends are joined. Then once we've done that tie or not on the back like we do going through the loop at the end and then cut the thread off and we're going to now sort of sandwich the elastic between the back part of the avocado and the front part and then we're going to just put a couple of pins in to keep the elastic in place. Make sure it's coming out in the right place. Pin it in. Like that. So the last thing I'm going to do is sew around the edge of the avocado. So we can start at the top where the elastic is and just make a few 
nice small running stitches just to make sure that's firmly in place. And then at this stage, you can either continue sewing all the way around in the running stitch, or if you fancy giving it a go, you can use the blanket stitch in the tutorial, which is the one where we go make a rainbow, top to bottom, come up through the rainbow, make a rainbow, top to bottom, and come up through the rainbow. Whichever you prefer. So here's the finished product, and it's a very cute avocado bookmark. So why not have a go yourself? Just order up some bits of felt and some elastic, uh, some needles and some embroidery thread. And we're really looking forward to seeing some of your creations.